all right my soflow tv audience welcome back to soflow tv again just go ahead and hit that subscribe button please and let's talk about this spice thing yeah all right the dancehall queen spice has actually put out a message to her fans and the message that she put out to her fans goes like this taken from her official instagram page all right and it says thank you jesus for saving my life hey besties i'm in a better space today to properly update you on my current health situation i suffered a damaged hernia a few days ago that sent my body into sepsis as a result i was rushed to the hospital for immediate surgery as you know i've been off social media for a while to rest mentally so little did i know that during my medical scare it was already being said that i had a heart attack i was in a coma and i also died but none of that is true however i'm still recovering from what really happened so thanks so much for all the prayers and concerns please take great care of yourself eat live love laugh let like it's your last day i love you all so much and you don't know gracie always aga be herself so i guess this is no more jumping off the speaker boxes for me with a laughing crying emoji to all the promoters that has been confirmed booking with the to all the promoters that has a confirmed booking with me please accept my humble apology came on I know you was up next for 25th of this month. However, I'll see you at a later date. Any further information needed, there's always a contact in my bio. The queen loves you all is what was written there. Huh? All right. Listen up. Not a lot of people is buying this still. <laughs> but there are people on social media right now losing themselves, cussing each other out okay some have said left the woman alone man hop off her fender left the woman alone she not owe you nothing make she heal up you know the same one that said she needed to come out and say something and now she come out and say something and you know want more um i said a one minute video a 30 second video one of my subscribers say a 20 second video would have been okay but this writing thing <laughs> may not know enough however there are certain things that are apparent in this writing thing she is denying all the rumors she is saying that no she wasn't in no coma no she didn't die or almost died and no she didn't have a heart attack those were originally refuted by her booking agent and you know people went on to say a lie did i tell cause him this and nothing happened and she okay so but he did deny her having a heart attack and she's now saying she's having a heart attack again she never had a heart attack rather again allegedly this is all allegedly because we don't know if a spice really write this we really don't know what we do know which is apparent i remember somebody asking when is our next concert we'll see if she don't show up to the next concert and she she canceled that one and then cancel the next one after that one then you know say something is really really wrong well i'm looking for little clues like those and if you notice she said cayman i know you was up next for the 25th of this month however i'll see you at a later date any further information needed there's a contact in my bio she also said stuff like jumping off the speaker box not for her anymore to all the promoters them out there that had a confirmed booking with me please accept my humble apology that means there could be more people that she was supposed to um honor as in appear con uh people who had confirmed bookings with her she's apologizing right she wouldn't apologize if nobody else never have no confirmed booking or maybe she don't know our our agent them just tell her whatever anyway the part that get me though is this when she said i me want me i go want them get them story straight before them come around you know because me don't want to see them beat spice bad and said this was actually some publicity thing all right remember me telling her before i said she can't come back and act like nothing never happened 
because too many people have been worried for too long and a lot of her subscribers or a lot of her followers or fans have been saying why she make it go so long then even if i did joke or publicity or just to see where bad mouth people are gonna say about her it went on too long to where people start taking it too serious so she can't she really can't come back and say just nothing happened so she has confirmed so far that she had a hernia i suffered a damaged hernia a few days ago that sent my body into a sepsis and as a result i was rushed to the hospital for immediate surgery a damaged hernia hmm i am no dummy but i went to school for certain things so first of all right a hernia a hernia is not a normal condition so in order for you to have a hernia in the per in order for you to have a damaged hernia you have to have a hernia in the first place so is she saying she had a hernia they did not know about and then the hernia got damaged i myself had a surgery on a inguinal hernia there are inguinal hernia incisional hernia umbilical hernia hiatal hernia there are other kinds of hernias out there we don't know which one of the hernia them she get what is a hernia a hernia occurs when an organ or fatty tissue squeezes through a weak spot in a surrounding muscle or connective tissue called a fascia. The most common types of hernia are the inguinal or your inner groin hernia, which is what I had. And if you look at my body with no clothes on, you can see one long scar across where they repaired that inguinal hernia. You have an incisional hernia resulting from an incision you have a femoral hernia, which is for your outer groin, a umbilical or belly button hernia, and you have a hiatal hernia, the umbilical or belly button hernia. Kai had that. My son, my little son had that. And you've seen many Jamaicans have it like the big belly button where you see. And them say, a bad in bad why I'm belly so big. Or the baby cry too much, that's why the belly button so big or the navel so big that's called the belly button or umbilical hernia so in that we can go through discussing what each one of these hernias are but the thing about it is the condition of a hernia is not a normal condition so it's not like you can say why something punch me kidney because everybody has a kidney unless you get them take out something punch on my spleen something punch on my a normal part of the human anatomy a hernia is not a normal part of the human anatomy but she's saying she had a hernia that was damaged or a damaged hernia that let me, let me read it again i suffered a damaged hernia a few days ago that sent my body into sepsis and as a result i was rushed to the hospital for immediate surgery what i do know though is if a hernia is say it uh it's left untreated right uh it can cause serious serious complications you know serious complication what are the main causes of a hernia so the main causes of a hernia ultimately all hernias are caused by a combination of pressure and the opening or a weakness of muscle or fascia the pressure or connective tissues the pressure pushes the organ through the opening of the weak spot sometimes the muscle weakens to present like at birth uh, weakness is present at birth more often it occurs later on in life though like if you lift up something heavy and strain yourself and these kind of things is a hernia a serious thing uh, in juvenile hernia isn't necessarily dangerous and it doesn't improve on its own though however if it is left alone it can lead to life-threatening complications like your intestines getting twisted up and these kind of things if your intestines twist up then your intestines can also burst if your intestines burst inside of you then your body can become septic or that same condition she calls sepsis so then of course you have an emergency situation you're going to go into shock and all other kind of things could possibly slip into a coma and all the rest of that your doctor though is likely to recommend surgery to fix that type of a hernia you know what i'm saying so me want spice get our story straight when she had come out about the hernia thing because i know a lot of people are gonna ask about it a hernia 
you don't usually have a hernia and not know that you have a hernia. The first thing I noticed about my hernia was a big bulge in my groin area. And I used to laugh and I used to say, this time I'm in the army, I'm training heavy. I me used to say, yo, it looked like I have a third testicle. Like in right, one grew right in the middle of my groin area. So that's how big it was. And it was painful as well. So, you know, surgery was suggested and surgery was done. Signs and symptoms of a hernia. An obvious swelling beneath the skin of the abdomen or in the groin. Just like when you see the baby with the big old navel them. It, that's how obvious it is. A heavy feeling in the abdomen that sometimes comes with constipation or even blood in your stool. Discomfort in the abdomen or the groin when lifting or when bending over. Or a burning or aching sensation right at where the bulge is. So hernia, I'm not gonna take you, it's not going to take you by surprise and rupture. It's something that's going to be there. So did she have a hernia before? I mean, I don't know. When she come back, she'll explain everything to us. If this is indeed her writing this. Remember, I know we see message on our thing before. And we didn't feel like so it was she that wrote that. Well, we are seeing more messages now. And apparently she's up and feeling well, as it said here. And it write like, is she write it? I don't think anybody would go that far to write all that. In the manner in which she speaks. See? But. She's cancelling shows. So that tells you. That she's not 100% up and go. Ready running yet. So she's going to need to get there. Of course a lot of her fans are happy. And they're saying thank you God. Because she said thank you God. So she has, they must say thank you God too. You know. Thank you God. She alright on these things. I wish her all the best. But that's the message coming from her. And we hope that it is her and we hope that she is in good health. And we, we, we can't wait for hear what she has to say when she comes back. Speedy recovery. That's all I have to say. Leave your comments in the comment section below. And I'll talk to you then. I'm out. Peace.